Hello my crafty friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Today I am going to be showing you how to make these really easy and fun ephemera holders. And they are made out of tissue boxes. So I saw a similar video from Treasure Books and that's what inspired this project. Of course I did mine a little different um, and inspired me to make something similar to my clutch holders, my um, clutch ephemera holders that I've shared with you before. I'll link that video up in the cards above just in case you haven't seen that video. But this one is so much easier to make because you've already got basically your cover um, nice and sturdy and thick from your tissue boxes. I'm also going to show you how to make the um, pockets a little different than in the previous video. Um, the previous video I showed you how to make them with book pages, but um, I've changed it a little bit for this one. And I'm also going to show you a little peek of um, other projects that I've previously made that you might enjoy for the holiday season. Easy peasy projects that you can um, make at home. So um, I'm just uh, showing you this one here. Um, I've used some dies and some stamping and some digital papers as well. Um, but I love the fact that each cover will be different depending on the tissue box that you have. You get to recycle some pieces and I just, I really love any projects that you can recycle. So um, I hope you enjoyed the share. I'm just showing you, you know, just how you can fill it with the different pieces, the different pockets that you can have. Of course, you can alter this however you like, um, but let me just show you how to put one together. And then I'll show you the little peek again of projects that I've shared before that might inspire you to make some other things during this holiday season. Okay, let's get started. I am so excited for this project. So thank you, Natasha, for the inspiration. So you'll need a tissue box. Um, some of them are different sizes depending on, you know, what brand it is. So I'm just going to show you how I used this one. And the measurements really are just going to be for the inserts. So right now I'm going to cut off the sides, which is all the little flaps. And then um, I'm showing you here what it looks like if you've cut up all the pieces and keep these pieces because you can use them for other projects. I'll show you that in a separate video. So now you need to cut off the um, top of the box. And if you don't cut straight edges right now, that's okay because you can always um, cut a straight edge with your paper trimmer. But if you just have scissors, um, try and have as much of a straight edge as possible um, because that will just look a little bit neater when your project is done. So I'm just cutting the top off. You can keep this again for a separate project. So here is where I'm going to decide where I want my, like my cover to be. So my closure, the top of it, um, where I want my pockets to go. And I was just showing you, I'm going to take off all those little excess pieces that were on the edges there. So here, depending on which way your um, image faces, that's where you decide where the bottom of your clutch is going to be or the top. Um, and because you can always use, um, you know, paper to cover everything up, it doesn't matter if it's got the brand on the front. So this one that I'm working on with you has a brand on the front. The previous ones didn't. So you can see there the images um, for this particular one. It can face either way, really, because of the um, their flowers. So this edge here, you'll also notice your boxes have that. So you decide if you want that showing when you open up your clutch or if you want that to be part of the bottom where you're putting in your pockets. So for this particular video, I'm just going to also show you that I like to cut off my, um, not cut them off, round off my corners because I think it just looks nicer that way. So once you decide what your top is going to be or your, um, your clutch um, closure, I guess, cover, um, that's where you cut off your edges. And if you see me using uh, tools here that you might have questions about, I will link my Amazon shop below where I um, link all my favorite supplies just in case you have questions for anything. Okay, so now I'm going to decorate the front and then we'll get on to putting the pockets inside. So here again, I have my digital piece of um, 
printable and this one has some really nice um, snowflakes on it which I thought would be perfect so again I just measured to fit the back of my clutch and I made sure I left a little kind of um, border around it now I grabbed these cute little stamp digitals from I believe these are Victoria designs and these ones are larger than my the previous the previous ones I used um, but I like that you can see them a lot better so I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit here um, while I decorate this part of the clutch. And, um, you know, just because I know some of you like to see the process, um, you can, of course, decide to use a label or, um, you know, maybe just collage the entire side and not really make it look like an envelope. But I wanted it to look like an envelope. So I'm using this address label template and um, I did find this at Michael's a while back. So I'm going to see if I can find something similar on Amazon and then link it for you below just in case you're interested in something similar. Um, but then I'm just going to, you know, use some of my die cuts and some of my scrap pieces of paper just to finish this one up. And of course, then we'll start with the um, pockets and the other project I have to share with you. I've had so much fun putting this together um, because I love any projects that I can recycle or repurpose um, or rescue things with. And this one was the perfect project. Um, I knew I had been saving these tissue boxes for a reason. And I'm so happy that I came across um, uh, her video, um, Treasure Box video, so that, um, you know, I got inspired to make these ones. So um, I will link her channel below, but I'm sure you've all seen her channel and are familiar with her work. She's awesome. Okay, I'll finish this up now and then we'll start with the pockets. Um, as always, questions, comments, please leave them below. And if you happen to make anything, don't forget to share it with me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I usually do update those sites first before um, I, you know, you see the videos because it's so much easier to share things with you there. Um, but um, yeah, stay tuned as I think I've already mentioned. Um, if you're a subscriber, I've got a nice giveaway coming up very soon as well. Okay, so let's get started on the pockets and the different way that I've done these ones from what I've shown you before. So this is where the easy part comes in. You can use eight and a half by 11 sheet of photocopy paper or your favorite digital because I usually print out that size. And then you measure your um, your pockets. So what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that um, it fits inside my um, my flap here at the bottom. So now I'm just going to cut four pieces that um, are the same size that will become my pockets for this project. So you see here I've cut four separate pieces and I'm just going to quickly show you that it's still eight and a half and now it's just five and I think it's three eighths. Um, or five and one eighths, I guess. Um, but again, it will depend on your box, the measurement of the pocket. So I'm just showing you for my particular one, what these look like. So the next step is gluing the pieces together to make the accordion um, pockets for the ephemera holder. Again, I'm doing something similar to what I've shown you before, but the difference with this one is that you don't have to glue on three ends because um, basically your pages are attached when you cut them. So I'm just gluing um, the two edges of the um, fold to make the pocket. And then we'll be doing this with four of them. However, you can always add more um, or you can always make less, but I find four minimum is a nice amount of pockets in one of these accordion holders. Um, but again, you can add more and you can also imagine if you had your um, printed digitals here, how nice they would look. Um, I find that um, photocopy paper is nicer for this project because it's not as thick and it just makes the um, pockets just nice um, enough to hold your ephemera, but not too thick to make the project too um, too chunky. So here, make sure your pockets are facing up and you're just adding glue to the center of each pocket. And I'm just doing about a quarter of an inch in size for the center with the glue. And as you can see, I just keep adding to my little pile of pockets. 
and then after this I'm just going to show you how I put them in my little clutch holder. So I haven't um, found any of the holiday boxes yet so I'm keeping an eye out for them when I do my my weekly grocery shopping. Um, but um, of course you know with any design it doesn't matter because I've made all of these um, holiday theme just based on the ephemera that I added to them. So here now you see I'm just adding glue to the front of the top pocket and I just make sure that it's evenly spaced between both sides of my little um, folio or clutch here. And then you grab everything, fold it over again, and then you add glue to the center of this top pocket on the back. And then you um, push that back onto the back of it and let it, you know, kind of get glued for a few minutes. And then you'll see what it comes looking like. So there's your pockets, your little accordion pockets. Okay, so for the closure for this one, I'm going to make it super easy um, because the other two that I have previously made, I decided to use some of my Velcro, um, my little Velcro circles that I had. But if you don't have Velcro, of course, um, you can just punch your holes and um, add your string or your ribbons or your sari silks and make you know a nice closure to it. I do go back afterwards and add my um, reinforcers, my hole reinforcers for this one. But for the one I'm showing you, it's just going to be like this, um, just an easy way to close your project. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and I really had fun repurposing these um, tissue boxes. Um, I'll definitely be making more. And like I said, they're perfect to send in, in mail for your friends or uh, pen pals, etc. Um, and it's also nice to have um, on your desk with, you know, the little goodies you'll be using for maybe your December daily. Um, I'm actually going to show you in a separate video what I'll be doing for my December daily this year. Um, I change it usually with my sizes and styles. I think last the last two years I've used uh, rings um, and um, I think I'm going to change it a little bit this year. So we'll see. So I'm just going to use some stickers to cover up the name brands. Of course, you can do whatever you want with this. And um, now I'm also going to show you quickly the other video I mentioned or the other project I mentioned. But these ones are done. So I hope you enjoyed this share. So I had fun with these ones a while back. I will link the tutorial below. Super easy how to make these. They're um, small paper bags that you can make for your um, gifts and stuff. Um, and I just love this paper from On A Whimsical Adventure, still one of my favorites. So these are all from On A Whimsical Adventure. Um, Anya also has the little bows you see here, um, small and large, and there's like a, a digital for that. And so there's the two different designs that I showed you in that video, which again, I'm linking below. Um, the one paper bag with the, the um, gussets, and then this one doesn't have that. Um, however, I think they're just so fun to make any size, of course, of paper that you have. But for these particular projects, I use the eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. Um, Anya also has these cute little bag covers for them or bag toppers, I guess they're called. And, um, and there's also like the larger bow, which I have somewhere here and I'll show you in a moment. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this share. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and this way it lets me know that you like this style of video. Um, these are the bows that are in her sets um, that I was mentioning. So um, again, thank you for joining me. Questions, comments, please leave them below. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of my next video. And as I mentioned, my uh, giveaway is coming up. So I'm super excited about that. And when I am doing this voiceover is actually November 28th. I can't believe that it's November 28th. So Anyways, this year has been full of ups and downs and all arounds and it's almost over and I, I'm just looking forward to things getting better. Thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for stopping by.